Good evening. It has become perhaps one of the most watched Senate races in the country. And tonight, Richard Lugar and Richard Murdoch went head to head in their only debate before the Republican primary on May 8th. News Channel 15's Megan Royce watched it with the Allen County Republican Chairman Steve Schein. So, what was his reaction to it? Heather, well, once it was all said and done, Schein told me he was impressed with how both performed. Now that the big debate is down in the books, who outperformed whom? One thing that seems to be impressing folks like Allen County Republican Chair Steve Shine is how Luger carried himself. Richard Luger is as sharp as a tack, uh, crystal clear on his delivery, focused on the answers, very animated at the podium. News Channel 15 political analyst Mark Souter agrees. Luger uh, was probably the most articulate, energetic 80 year old man I've seen. He pretty much buried the basic age issue. What some may consider a Murdoch misstep came at the beginning of the debate. Why is the price at the pump so high when the cost of oil is near, nearly $50 a barrel lower? In Murdoch's response, he knocked ethanol. Arguing against ethanol in Indiana is probably not popular among the Indiana agricultural community. Shine says Murdoch made up for it when he told folks at home he respects Luger's background in foreign relations. Put a disclaimer saying I, I give deference to the uh, foreign relations experience of Senator Luger. He's, at least he's making some points to show that how he would handle expenditure and, and funding. And Souter feels Murdoch also gained some ground too with his comment. I felt that Murdoch's best moments was on foreign policy because he showed the difference and then went head to head on detailed substance with the senior senator on foreign policy in the Republican Party. And as far as Luger winning the hearts of Hoosier Republicans watching, Schein feels he gained points when he said he voted for the Paul Ryan budget. Overall, both felt it was a pretty mellow debate. Shine says we can probably begin to expect seeing some more of those negative campaign ads anytime now. Megan Royst, News Channel 15.